Let's get to the next story. Where we're talking about coronavirus stocks. Everybody's rushing to get to a vaccine. And folks, when I tell you this, the first company that comes out with a vaccine is going to blow up off the charts. Blow up off the charts. So a couple of stocks that have definitely been in my vocabulary for coronavirus stocks is Gilead and Moderna. Here's a story on Gilead. It's Remdesivir drug isn't going away, but it's not enough to drive its stocks higher. Ah, so uh, the FDA was talking about, hey, we're going to move forward with this Remdesivir drug. And I know that they were they went before Congress or the FDA to talk about it. And I don't think that it was all that it was cracked up to be. Uh, Gilead Sciences is ticking lower. And this was on May 13th. Uh, after a report from uh, after a report from the Wall Street Journal said that Remdesivir is being tested with other drugs to find a more effective treatment for the illness. So the big story was about the drug. Clay said, "Am I rapping? He, I can see that. No, I wasn't rapping. I'm, what, did I rap? Did it sound like I rap? Leave me alone, Clay. I'm closing him off. Boom. All right." Um, the Remdesivir is a drug, and he's, I'm not, ta oh, am I tapping? Am I, is my oh, rings? Boy. All right, let me take my rings off. Here we go. I thought he said if I was rapping. It was the pen? Probably. All right, well, fine. Then just tell me it was the pen. Anyway, um, and so it looks like they're moving along with Remdesivir, but they're adding other drugs or looking at other drugs uh, to better uh, treat the illness. There's a click, all right, so... Can you move that from over here, too? Can you stop looking at it? Well, I can. It's there. Let's talk about the next company. And this is the company that's really hot on my radar. Um, someone put me, somebody put me on the spot last week and made me uh, put out a stock of the week. This was my stock of the week, Moderna. And I think it went up. Thank you. And I think it went up from last Thursday's presentation. But... The FDA issued fast track status for Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine, what that means. One of the world's highest hopes for a vaccine, I'm telling you, and I've been keeping my eye and helping you keep your eye on Moderna for at least a month and a half. That stock I've made personally money on, uh, but number two, just look at it. We're going to take a look at it. That stock looks like one of the hottest, along with Gilead, as a potential vaccine maker. Uh, they will get a fast track review from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the vaccines developer Moderna said in the Tuesday morning announcement. So these are two stocks within the coronavirus field to definitely keep your eyes on. More so, I think, Moderna than Gilead now. Gilead was hot a couple of weeks ago with its Remdesivir um, drug, but now they're pulling back. Seems like they're pulling back a little bit and adding other stocks in the pipeline. Let's go back to the watch list real quick, and I'm going to do two things. One, here's Moderna. Looking at my list, and many of you don't realize or may not know, the stocks that are in the list are already ranked by our master indicator, VST. I'm going to explain what that is in a second. And what was my other one was Gilead. All right, let's analyze these stocks the way only VectorVest can do so. Moderna is trading at $63.68. We give a value for every stock, what we feel the stock is worth. We're saying that we think Moderna's only worth $3.02. Holy smokes, this stock is trading way above its value. You know why? Because people are willing to pay a premium to own the stock. Why? Because this stock is fast-tracked on its way to hopefully coming up with a vaccine for COVID-19. People see that. People are jumping on it. It's jumping the stock way ahead of what we feel the stock is worth. That doesn't make it a bad stock. People are willing to pay a premium. Let's move over to our four, uh, one, two, three, four, five um, core proprietary indicators. Relative value, relative safety, relative timing, VST, and CI. Relative value, RV, looks at a stock's long-term price appreciation potential. It's upside potential over the next one to three years as compared to a AAA corporate bond. All right? Simply put, any of these indicators, above one, the indicator is favorable. Below one, the indicator is unfavorable. Relative value on Moderna on a scale between zero to two is horrible. 
This is not a stock that I want long term. All right, that's fine. Relative safety. That's an indicator of risk for the stock. Relative safety looks at the consistency and predictability of a company's financial performance. What's the biggest mover of a stock's price? Earnings. What relative safety is looking at, the stock's ability or probability of meeting or exceeding its earnings expectations quarter over quarter, year over year. Above one, safer stock. Higher probability the company will beat earnings. Company beats earnings, it makes it more attractive to investors to buy, right? Relative safety on Moderna. Well, it's below one. This is more of a riskier stock. Ah, let's look at relative timing, RT. This is the short-term price trend of the stock. Technical analysis is based off of two things and two things only, price and volume. That's it. Every technical indicator that you look at is only based off of those two things only. This is a price-based indicator. So we looked at relative value, relative safety. Those are our fundamental indicators when analyzing stocks. Relative timing is the short-term price trend or the technical indicator when analyzing stocks. Above one, the stock's in an uptrend. Below one, stock's in a downtrend. The higher above one, the faster in an uptrend. The more below one, the faster in a downtrend. This is the saving grace for this stock. Relative timing at 1.81 on a scale between zero and two. This stock is moving and moving fast. Now, the fundamentals, RV and RS, are crap. They're horrible. But the stock is going up in price. This is what we call a trader stock. This is not a long-term hold, but this is a stock that's got the potential to move up 4, 5, 10, 15, 20% in a day. From a more aggressive trading perspective, this is a stock that you look at. The um, combination of relative value, relative safety, relative timing gives us a VST of 1.22. So overall, the stock overall is good, but it's really made up off of that RT. Let's look at Gilead, 7679, slightly under its value of 8137. That's a bigger drug company than Moderna, right? Upside potential, not there. This stock is a little safer than Moderna because the relative safety is at 1.05, so it's favorable. Not altogether great, but favorable. And this stock, too, is going up in price. So I like Moderna for a short-term play. I like Gilead not more for a long-term play, but I do understand that Gilead has a higher probability of meeting earnings, which means that the stock's price should go up higher um, and, and be more attractive to investors. And it is in an uptrend, but not as strong in an uptrend as Moderna. If I were looking at either one of these from a trade perspective, it would be Moderna. If I was looking at something with a little bit more safety in it, it would be Gilead. Let's take a look at the both of these stocks on a graph. Let's pump that out real quick. Three-month graph, look at that 3 and 8. Moderna, look at that run. How about when the stock's price pulled back? Look at the stock, 3 and 8 held, still moving up, stock's moving sideways. If I own the stock right now, Put tighter stops on it. Stock is just moving sideways. You don't panic just because it's down today. Next stock, Gilead. Not nearly as an upward pattern and actually coming back down as compared to Moderna. I think because of the reservoirs um, drug that they were doing um, and now they sort of kind of backpedaled from it, I think it affected the movement of the stock moving a little bit more to the downside, but still higher than it was three months ago. As far as, again, uh, trying to find out which one I would take now, Moderna would probably be the way to go. Now, I'm going to show you something else. I've got a watch list of all coronavirus stocks that we started way back in early February. Here in my coronavirus stocks watch list, which I only have here, but you do have access to a coronavirus watch list in the VectorVest software. Again, 99 cents gets you a trial. You get access to that watch list. And what I like to do with this, Tom is here. Is Tom here? What Tom did, he talked about it in a post on our YouTube page. He opens up this watch list every morning, sorts by percent price change, and then looks at the stocks that are moving. I love that. I think that that is an awesome thing to do to keep your eyes on what's moving at any given time. And right now I'm running this as of 2.38 this afternoon, APT up 21%. Uh, TLSA, not Tesla, um, but TLSA up. And a lot of these companies you may not know about, but all of these companies are fighting 
extensively to get a vaccine towards the coronavirus. And this is a great way, if you're a little bit more aggressive, to find these stocks on a daily basis and make money on these stocks. All right, let me go back to my watch list. Joey, any questions? Yes, Quinn. <laughs> okay. Yes, Joey. What would be a good entry for Moderna? What would be a good entry for Moderna? Let's open that back up real quick. Where is it at? Right click. Always, you know, I can always use the software to find the candidates. The graph is exactly what I need to make a decision. See this most recent high over the last three months? What's the high price? 68.49. I would go five cents higher than the high. Why? I want to make sure I'm buying still into a rising stock. That would be my buying opportunity. Five cents higher, uh, actually 12 cents higher than high. This stock is over 20 bucks. I'd wait for 12 cents higher than high. Now, somebody will say to me, well, why wait? What happens if the stock goes up? You're losing money. See that level right there? That's a level of resistance. If that's a good level of resistance, what should happen to the stock's price? It should stop and then come back down. I'm making sure that the stock's price breaks through that resistance, continues to buy, uh, continues to move higher. I'm putting my order in 12 cents higher. That helps to ensure that I'm buying into the stock as it's still rising instead of buying in now and then it jumps around and I'm like, oh man, why did I do that? Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.